everybody. I'm Carrie Sundra of Alpenglow Industries. Today I have joining me my good friend Bibiana Cha. Hello. She, hello. We we met back in college and we've known each other for a very long time. And she's going to talk to us about making all sorts of cool biomedical devices and just going to chat about basically what got her into STEM, how she felt when, when, like, when we all hit college. I know, I know the, I know some of the answers to that. <laughs> and, and then we're going to talk about like the cool things that she's worked on and just like the paths that her career has taken. You know, I'd, I'd love to touch on like how things changed when you had kids and like, if, you know, you felt supported in your career at that point or not and stuff like that. And, and then finally, like what you're kind of thinking about, about tech versus like more managerial roots. Cause I know you've done a little bit of both and stuff like that. Yes. A, lo a lot of people have those questions. So <laughs> for sure. Hello, Bob, how's it going? Good to see you. I have wanted to be an engineer since I was pretty young. I think that it's interesting because my mom was the one that fixed everything in the house. So like a lamp broke and she'd be like taking it apart and fixing things. So that's the, that's all I knew. Right. Oh, and when I came to America, the only subject that I was really good at in the beginning was math because the numbers translated. So I really gravitated towards sciences and math just because that's what I was good at when I got here and I was really interested in it. And then, and, and I how was, old were you? I was 10. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, but, and then, and then I want to be an engineer probably since seventh grade. First, I wanted to be an aerospace engineer. And then I decided that I wanted to be a medical device engineer, probably. Good, like, good call. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a uh, sophomore year of high school, I watched this 2020 episode about this woman, these people who have TMJ, and they were trying to look at other devices to help with their lockness, locking jaw issues. And I thought it was fascinating. And so that's when I got really interested in medical devices. And that's kind of where I focused all my career. I, my current position is the only position that isn't directly a medical device company. And so, but, but I do think that, you know, like I really enjoy what I'm doing now and I've enjoyed everything in the medical device field and, you know, I'd encourage anybody to go into that, especially if you're interested in, you know, kind of having a, I, I don't know, there's something amazing about going to a surgical, surgical suite and seeing somebody using a device that you designed. And you know how it works and how it was produced and you're sitting there and you're just have your fingers crossed. You're like, okay, I hope it doesn't fail. I and, really hope uh, the person doesn't die right now. I know, I know, like, <laughs> thankfully it wasn't like, it was more like, I hope they don't go blind. But, <laughs> but it, it is an amazing feeling to know that what you're working on has affected the life of people in, in a way that is, you know, helping people one by one. Obviously other fields, you'd be looking at more global changes. Like if you're doing aerospace, obviously you'd be helping a, a bigger group of people doing other things, but I wanted more of a direct impact in like, in their, in their daily lives. So. Yeah. So you, like how, why do you think you had such a strong pull towards engineering when you, like that's at a really young age because like, I am going to be super honest and say that like, I really didn't know shit about engineering until I got to college. Like I didn't really know what engineers did. Cause I, even though like my dad was one, he wasn't working in the field. He'd been out of the field for a long time. So I mm -hmm. had no real idea of what, like, what the, what was it like, you know, daily for an engineer? What exactly did they do? Uh, and kind of I thing? had no idea. Like my, my dad was an accountant and my mom was, you know, <laughs> she became a hairdresser eventually, but she was a, you know, stay at home mom for a long time. Yeah. And but I just liked watching her fix things and like was she wasn't afraid to take things apart. And yeah. then I would say probably my first introduction to engineering was like probably a drafting class I took. Ah. So I took a drafting class and was really I liked making straight lines and like, making things match and doing like it made me happy. It was all pencil and you know paper, you know. I was yeah. really good at it. And then I took some architectural classes and then I was like designing cars for fun, like <laughs> and yeah. then, but in the end, um, and then I was really interested in space, but I didn't really know much about what they actually did. I just wanted to be a part of that. Cool. And, but it was really, but with the medical device, I think just knowing there's a field of, of engineering that is designed to help people that I was like, oh, that really just kind of triggered like this passion in me. And so everything that I did 
in college, after college, just towards, you know, getting, having a bigger impact and having more direction with, I, I, and as I get older, it's more like interesting devices, yes, but I want to have more, be able to have more stand or direction of the company and the projects people work on. That's something that I'm still really interested in and having impact on is like, is knowing that I, you know, some opinions I have about where we should go in our product build releases and projects we work on that I can make impact on that. Obviously with my current company, I just started like I'm two and a half months in. So like yeah. I'm, there's so much for me to learn because it's much more biology related than anything I've ever worked on. Yeah. So Cool. Always fun when there's like a ton of stuff to learn. Mm -hmm.